Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing what our updated nighttime routine looks like as a mom of four. We've had some pretty cold weather here in Dallas and the kids have all been home from school this week. So our days have looked a little bit different than normal, but our nighttime routine is always something that has stayed the same no matter what the day looks like. It's a lot of conquering and dividing with Adam and I, but having this structure is what really helps our nights run so much smoother. We're starting off the night by making a pick-me-up for Adam and I. I've been loving Jot again and making my coffee at home lately. It's so easy to make and Jot just gives me so much more energy compared to a Starbucks coffee. I just do about a tablespoon of Jot in a cup of ice and then I add about a cup of milk and then a splash of coffee creamer. I usually use a little bit more than a splash because I like my coffee pretty sweet, but this creme brulee one from Silk is my favorite right now. I got started on dinner a little bit earlier this night because the meal that we were having took about an hour in the oven. You guys have not tried this Costco lasagna. You're missing out, it's so good. The girls usually beg me about twice a day to go out and play in the cold and the ice. So they were all getting their energy out by playing with the ice on the trampoline. You honestly could not pay me to go out in that weather, but they love it. Grayson had the better idea, I think, and wanted to stay inside and play with Play-Doh. This is probably his favorite thing to play with right now. Okay, the girls are heading to my bath to defrost and warm up, so they're taking their bath earlier than they typically would. They normally shower in their room on a normal night, but they were in my bath playing for like a good 45 minutes or so, which is nice. So the snow days have made things look a little bit different, but Tatum was warming up and cuddling with Adam, and then he gave her a bath early this night too to warm her up after playing outside, but normally we would do bath time after dinner. Okay, I'm cleaning up the Play-Doh and this is the current status of the playroom after having four kids at home the past three days. Many times before we look at the same old stars, battle the same old wars. Like so Baby Shark has been our anthem the past week on loop in the background. So there's Adam giving you guys a show. Grayson's favorite thing to watch right now is Baby Shark or Wheels on the Bus. So we've been a little burnt out on those too. And thank you guys for all of the words of encouragement and support after sharing Grayson's diagnosis on Instagram. It really means the absolute world to me to be able to have this platform where I can connect and relate to other moms and families that are going through the same challenges that we are. Grayson was diagnosed last year with autism level three and nonverbal and just hearing your guys' stories and being able to connect with other families that are walking the same path that we are has just been so encouraging. So thank you so much. It really does mean a lot to us. Adam and I were opening up some packages and I had told you guys on Instagram that I finally ordered some photos of us to hang in the frames above our bed and we could not stop laughing because of course I printed one the wrong way but honestly I think I should just leave it because now every time I look at it it just makes me laugh.
I also washed our sheets this day too, so I'm just putting our bed back together. Okay, dinner is ready, so we're just getting everything plated, water cups filled, and this is where the chaos usually starts. Tatum and Grayson will either sit in their high chair occasionally because we notice that they eat a lot more when they sit there. Tonight, they didn't touch their food, so they ended up having goldfish and a Z-bar after dinner, which is whatever. I mean, we're in survival mode over here right now, so that's what they ended up having.
After we got most of the kitchen cleaned up, Bailey and Shay opened up their weekly card from my dad, which is honestly like the highlight of their whole week. It's so cute. We save all of his cards and the letters that he writes the kids in a keepsake box for them to look back on. Adam is a saint and finishing up the dishes and there's my dinner that has yet to be touched. <laughs> okay, right around this time is when we will start to get Tatum and Grayson ready for bed around 6.30. She is stuck on this almond milk, so this is what she's having. She doesn't really like whole milk, so after I make her bottle, we will usually head to her room for bath time, but since she had one earlier, we're just winding down for bed. Lately, she's been loving singing songs, so we're singing Wheels on the Bus right here. This pex board for Grayson's nighttime routine I've shared in the past, but it's helped so much with his transitions. Transitions are still pretty hard for him, so if he can see what's coming next, it helps so much with his meltdowns. Before we put him down for bed, we always spend a few minutes with him, either talking to him, reading to him. Lately, we've been going over his numbers. He's mastered counting from one to 10 and from 10 to one, which I've shared on Instagram. And it's honestly the best thing ever to hear him talk and to see how determined and smart he is. I've seen those faces. I've heard all the lies, but you ain't gazing on someone in the night. Bailey and Shay usually start getting ready for bed around 7.30, so they're brushing their teeth, and then after they read their Bible, we let them watch a show on either their TV or their iPad, and we have them set a timer on it, but nine times out of ten, they end up falling asleep before the timer even goes off. So I opened up a little bit on Instagram a couple days ago that I was just having a rough few days. I just wasn't feeling like myself. I was really sad for no reason, but having all the kids home from school this past week has really lifted my mood, just being able to spend a lot of quality family time together. It's really hard, and I know a lot of you guys can probably relate to send Grayson to school every day because 
he's still a baby in my eyes, but seeing the progress that he's making with the therapies he's in makes it all worth it. And what brings me the most joy these days is seeing him thrive. So being able to spend a lot of time with him this past week has just made me so happy. I know you want it to be easy. So let your guard down and that's it. All the kids are in bed. Tatum woke up crying. I think she had a bad dream. So Adam is comforting her while I eat my dinner. But how are all of you guys doing? I don't normally like to talk about my feelings. I'm really good at just suppressing them, which I know is not healthy, but I've always, I don't know, felt like I just needed to be strong for everyone else. And I know that's probably catching up to me and has resulted in me not feeling 100% lately, but life is hard sometimes and that's okay. So if you're going through a hard season, I hope you know that you're not alone. After I finish picking up the house, Adam and I will either have our downtime together watching a show. Right now we're watching Love Island, or a lot of the times he'll go and work out in the gym, which is what he's doing right now while I get some work done. Adam and I both take CBN before bed and it has literally transformed my sleep. I take the orange one, which is the CBD during the day when I feel really stressed or anxious, but the black one we both take about 30 minutes before sleep and we've never slept better. Adam was able to get off all of his sleep medication since using this, so I'll link it below if you want to try it, but that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. 
please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you all very soon. Bye.